Real Housewives of Beverly Hills recap, what's in store? This is what drives me crazy about Sutton. She's entitled to every cent of the $300,000 a month she gets from her ex, and that money is hers. However, as we said about George W. Bush, she wants credit for hitting a triple when she started on third base. She used her ex-husband's money, we know she used it, so why is she trying to hide it? She could have just said, I did this all on my own, which is true. She gets credit for the idea, the execution, the planning, and, obviously, for the success. She does not get credit, however, for the money. The scene with Sutton at the party is followed by a quite intense scene with Kyle and her therapist slash life coach, Jamie. I am already skeptical of an on-screen therapist, and as soon as we see a slash life coach, I am catching flags redder than Luis Rulas's face after two Viagras and a glass of white wine. It's a bit of an odd session since Kyle is recapping her whole feud with her sisters and the recent suicide of her best friend, Laureen. Either we're using this therapy session as an exposition dump for Kyle's storyline, or she hasn't talked to this guy in the better part of a year and is now catching up. Kyle's quite open and vulnerable during the scene and Jamie does give her decent advice. He tells her that he can't have a relationship with Kathy on Kathy's terms where Doogie is in the doghouse all the time. Is Doogie derived from dog? He tells her there are no obligatory relationships, especially if those relationships are bad. He tells her that after the death of Laureen, she needs to find a safe space, a place where she can be herself and get all of the love and support she needs. He tells her that she will find it among the cast of rich women doing things. Ha 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 ha. Just kidding. He didn't say that. I mean, could you imagine? Fire him immediately. While we do get Anne-Marie's home scene, Garcel taking Jade and Ashlyn to Sizzler and Erica chatting with her mother about her Las Vegas residency, the rest of the episode is really about Sutton's party. Kyle shows up with her sister Kim and both Kyle and Sutton say it's so that Kyle can show how close she is to at least one of her sisters after Sutton's dig last week that she had lost both of them. This week on our favorite television program, Rich Women Doing Things, the rich women did a thing or two. They took their 15-year-old sons and their gorgeous, lovely, and charming girlfriends out to dinner at a place that seems to resemble a sizzler. Do they still even have those? They ran around their enormous modern farmhouse kitchens, screaming about purple dinosaurs and frosted flakes. They said their party didn't need to have food because everyone is on Activia or Olympic or something like that. That's not what they're calling it. They're calling it hormones. Yes, the rich women did things, but one of them, Sutton, pissed me off right at the very beginning of the episode. She's talking about the fourth anniversary party for her store, also called Sutton. She says in confessional, I love that I'm doing it all on my own, and I didn't take anyone's money to do that. That feels really good. Thankfully, a producer is there to ask if she started the store with her spouse's money, and she says, of course. 